Good morning. Our opening song this morning is Lord of the Dance and our celebrant is Father Fred. Let's stay together. I danced in the morning when the world was begun, and I danced in the glow at the stars and the sun, and I came down from heaven and I danced on the earth at Bethlehem, my and my birth. Dance then wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance and me, and I'll lead you all wherever you may be, and I'll lead you all in the dance and me. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace the Lord be with you. Wow, this is something new. We always say we want to sit on the left, now it's on the right. And it's good because change is good. God, do we fight change? Anything that changes, everybody goes crazy. But change is good. It keeps us alive and alert. Jesus was sent to change with change. To realize that he is Lord of all. As we celebrate this sacred mystery, so let's recall those times we've said. Lord has mercy. Lord has mercy. Christ has mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, bring us to an everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have united many nations in confessing your name, grant we pray that the grace to will to do what you command. The people called to your kingdom may be one in faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, God is not unjust so as to overlook your work and the love you have demonstrated for his name by having served and continue to serve the Holy Ones. We earnestly desire each of you to demonstrate the same eagerness for the fulfillment of hope until the end, so that you may not become selfish but imitators of those who, through faith and patience, are inheriting the promises. When God made the promise to Abraham, says he had no one greater by whom to swear, he swore by himself and said, I will indeed bless you and multiply you. And so, after patient waiting, Abraham obtained the promise. Now men swear by someone greater than themselves, for then an oath serves as guarantee and puts an end to all argument. So when God wanted to get the ears of his promise an even clearer demonstration of the immutability of his purpose, he intervened with an oath, so that by two immutable things, in which it was impossible for God to lie, we who take refuge may be strongly encouraged to hold fast to the hope that lies before us. This we have as an anchor of the soul, sure and firm, which reaches into the interior behind the veil, where Jesus has entered on our own behalf as forerunner, becoming high priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek, the word of the Lord. Thanks. Oh, yeah. 
he reminds the Pharisees that the law was made to serve people. The law was made to serve people, not people to serve the law, not people to serve the law. We were programmed to serve the law. What is one way that I may be running the risk of putting law or things ahead of people in my everyday dealings? Better be kind at home than to burn incense in a distant place. It's a Chinese proverb. Mindful of our dependence on God, we humbly place our petitions for our world, our country, the United States, and our community of faith. For the church, may the Lord help us to honor him and his creation by keeping holy the Sabbath, helping us to be the people that the Lord has called us to be. We pray to the Lord. Keeping in mind our world leaders, may the Holy Spirit empower them in putting the needs of their people before their own desires. For this let us pray to the Lord. For those who are burdened by work, especially those who must work on Sundays, may God give them their story of rest they need. We pray to the Lord. As we're on the eve of a new president coming in, let us pray for guidance, healing, peace, understanding, most importantly, wisdom. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Let's pray for those who are in need of our prayers today, those who struggle physically, mentally, spiritually. For this, let us pray to the Lord. And for the petitions we hold within the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord God, giver of all good gifts and perfect gifts, we ask you to hear our many prayers and answer them according to your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. It is truly right to adjust 
our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim.
peace in our day so that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. For Jesus Christ, who says to our apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. I graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And now let us share with one another a sign of Christ's peace.
Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness, make those who believe in you one in mind and heart by the power of this sacrifice. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. Amen. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go ahead and proclaim the good news. Thank you. 